Um, hi, uh, in this video, I'm going to show how we can use source tree uh, Mac software to find out all the files that have been changed um, when you want to compare the code between a unmodified that is original child theme and a modified version of the same thing. So I'm going to first copy uh, this particular theme. This is the unmodified version or the, the latest version of Showcase Pro. And I'm going to switch to source tree and then drag that folder into source tree. And as you can see, the name of the folder has been filled in here. The type is git. And we are not dealing with remote, so this need not be ticked. And I'm just going to create a local git repository in this folder. So once you do that, you can double click on that repo to open it up. And you can see that uh, it lists all the content, that is all the files. So you tick this box which says unstaged files to basically stage all the files. So after you have added all these files to the stage, uh, we are going to commit by clicking the commit button and we can give a comment. So this can be like initial commit of unmodified Uh, theme okay so once you have done that we are gonna create a we're gonna create a new branch so what I've done is I've uh, went into master I've selected the initial commit that we have just done and then I'm clicking on branch and then we can call this let's say development or dev and then click on create branch okay so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go inside the folder I'm going to delete all the content and I'm going to place uh, un, uh, changed version of the same theme. So there are about three or four files that have been changed. So I've just pasted that back in the repository folder. So here now you'll see this new line which says uncommitted changes. You click on that. Again, we're going to stage all the files and then commit so this time we'll put a comment that says changed or modified theme okay so now you select this master and then you right click on it and then you did diff against current <coughs> So now this is going to show all the files that have changed. So for example, you can see that in this particular file, front page PHP, it shows the code that has been added with the plus sign. And if I go to the second file, here you can see all the code that has been added. And a few changes here. And so on and so forth. Thank you.